G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a way of multiplying two and three digit numbers together uh, using this rainbow multiplication method that I've had a look at in a previous video. So let's have a look at this. Okay, so say we were asked to multiply a number such as 121 times 23. Now the way that we could do this using this particular method is as follows. So first off, to get the first part of our answer, what we do is we multiply the first digits in our numbers here. So 1 times 2 is 2. Okay, so we get our 2. Then what we're going to have is 2 middle digits, which we're going to come back to in a little bit. I'll show you how to work these out, but we're going to go straight to working out our last digit. The way that we work this out is multiplying the last digits here. So 1 times 3 is 3. Now, so far this is much like this uh, other method of multiplication where I, we had a look at where we're multiplying two and two digit numbers together, but this is a slight tweak on it. Now, what we do now is we're going to work out this particular uh, number here. What we do is we do this thing called rainbow multiplication. We're going to multiply this number by this number and this number by this number. You can see why we call it rainbow multiplication, yeah? <laughs> and we're going to add our answers together. It will give us the number that's going to go in here. Okay, so 1 times 2 is 2 and 2 times 3 is 6. And we're going to add these answers together to get an 8. Okay, so 8 is going to go in here. Alright, to get the this number here, the next part of our answer, we're going to do this rainbow multiplication. I'm going to do it underneath here, but I'm going to move the actual, these parts, across 1. So 2 times 2, and 3 times 1. Okay, so 2 times 2 is 4, and we're going to add that to 3 times 1, which is 3. So 3 plus 4 equals 7. So our answer is 2,783, which is the correct answer. So that's a really, really cool method, yeah? Uh, it's not too confusing. I don't think there's any uh, bit there that you won't be able to remember. But, hey, let's see. I'll tell you what, I'll go through one more example. Then I'll give you a bunch of ones to do for yourself and see how you go with it. In fact, I'm going to leave some of the harder ones, I think, for you, <laughs> okay? Uh, what about we go through one more of these? Um, 242. And we multiply this by 32. Okay, so to get this first part of our answer, what do we do? We multiply these. 3 times 2 is 6. Okay, I'm going to put this in a red pen. So 6. Okay, 2 3s are 6. We leave two spaces. 1, 2. Okay, then what we do is we get the last part of our answer, 2 times 2, which was 4. Okay, so we're doing pretty well so far, you right? Okay, let's uh, get this digit here. So what we did is we do this rainbow multiplication thing, yeah? Uh, this is 3 times 2, and we're going to add that to 2 times 4. So 3 times 2 is 6, and we're going to add that to 2 times 4, which is 8. So 6 plus 8 equals 14. Now, I'm going to put the 4 down in here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the 1 there, because we're going to be carrying that into our next part of our answer here. So the 14, we only put the 4 part of it down and we're going to put the 1 just there just to remind us that we're going to be putting it into here. So let's do the next part of our rainbow multiplication. 3 times 4, which is 12, we're going to be adding to 2 times 2, which is 4. So we add those, we get 16. 16 plus 1 here we get the answer of 17. So that's going to become a 7, and I'm going to have to move this 1 across into here. So what are we going to do? We are going to add it to the 6 here. So the 6 is going to become a 7, okay, where we added that one in. So our answer is 7,744. Okay, so hopefully uh, that worked out for you. Okay, what about I give you a couple of hard examples? So these are the ones, hey, these aren't that hard, okay? It's the same, exact same method. As long as you can uh, remember where you have to, you know, place things and carry things and that sort of deal, you'll be pretty right. So I'll give you a nice easy one to start off with, then I'll give you the hard one. Okay, so what about uh, 122 times 32? That will be the first one I'll get you to do. And then I'm going to get you to do 153 
and we're going to multiply that by 61. Okay, pause the video, give them a go, and I'll see you back here in a minute. Okay, hopefully you've done those, and let's check how you went on those. So, <laughs> okay, 1 times 3 is 3. Two spaces, boom and boom, and 2 times three, uh, two times 2 is 4. Okay, so we're doing pretty well so far. Uh, hopefully you're pretty good so far. Um, now what we do is we do this rainbow multiplication. So we're going to be getting 6 and adding this to 4, which is 10. So I'm going to put a 0 there and a 1 there. We're going to be putting it here. We're going to go 3 times 2, which is 6. To that we're going to add 2. 6 and 2 is 8, plus this 1 here is 9. So did you get the answer of 3,904? If you did, congratulations. If you didn't, well, you can just have a quick look over how I did it there and, and see where you made your mistake. Fix it up, okay? Okay, um, let's go to this last one here. So 1 times 6 is 6. Couple of spaces. 1 times 3 is a 3. Okay, now let's do this rainbow multiplication here. Okay, so we're going to go 3 times 6, which is 18, and 1 times 5, which is 5. 18 plus 5 is 23. Okay, so we'll put the 3 there, and I'm going to put my little 2 up there. 6 times 5 is 30. 31 plus 2 is 33. So that 3 is going there, and another 3 is going to have to be added to our 6 here. So this is going to become a 9. Okay, so our answer is 9,333. So hopefully, you really, really uh, get the hang of that method. It's, it's not a bad method, eh? <laughs> tell us what you think about that. Uh, tell your friends. Show everybody. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.